Hey guys, let's get more news from Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Brandon Cooks on slow start, it's gonna come. When Brandon Cooks was traded for over the offseason, it was clear that the Dallas Cowboys had a solidified WR2 going into training camp. Then, in Oxnard, that belief was solidified when everyone saw the connection that Cooks had with Dak Prescott early on both in the short to intermediate game and downfield. However, halfway through the regular season, the production from a second option wide receiver has not been present. Cook sits fifth on the team in both receptions, 17, and receiving yards, 165, through eight games and has failed to make a considerable impact on the offense. It's not the first time that Cooks has experienced a drought in his career. But when the drought is as severe as this one, a lot of outside noise begins to generate. However, for Cooks, it's all about what happens inside the building and trusting the position that he is in each week. I'm just gonna keep trusting it, Cooks said. That's just who I am. In my mind, it's about getting back to work and work harder. When it comes, it's gonna come. And I mean that, I really do. In other times of his career, Cook self-admittedly was more brazen about his displeasure with not being integrated into an offense. But ten years into his NFL career, he doesn't see any good that ever came out of that and is instead resorting to belief in the team around him. I'm not going down that path, he said. Early on in my career, I went down that path and it's not good for you mentally or the guys that are around you. When I say I trust it, I trust Coach, McCarthy, I trust Dak and I trust the offense. It's gonna come, and when it comes you'll know. Being around the game long enough, you get these moments. When I say I'm not frustrated, I'm a veteran and I want to help and contribute, no doubt. But getting frustrated, all that's going to do is affect your mental and go down a route that you don't want to go down. Cooks may not be seeing the production he expected coming into 2023, but it's been the exact opposite for C.D. Lamb, who sits top five in the league in receiving yards through eight games. When asked if he expects to be fed when Lamb is targeted by a defense with bracket or double coverage, Cook said his two hands will be there to do the job. If that happens, best believe three will be ready. Dak, Lamb, see career best run continuing in 2023. Coming out of the Week 5 loss in San Francisco, C.D. Lamb was vocal about how he felt like he could have been integrated into that game and how it could have helped the final outcome. The displeasure led towards a conversation between Lamb and all of the offensive leaders including Dak Prescott, Mike McCarthy and Brian Schottenheimer to discuss how things could be different moving forward. Since then, Lamb has rattled off three consecutive 100-yard games including back-to-back -back performances that have each set his career high in receiving yards. For him, that conversation served as a turning point in the 2023 season for him and the offense. I feel like without that conversation, I don't think we would have got to where we are now, Lamb said. I feel like the elevation in the offense is amazing. I'm grateful for that and grateful for the team entrusting in me. For Prescott, the conversation after the loss to the 49ers paired with the chemistry that the two have built since the start of the 2022 season has led to Lamb being in the top five of receiving leaders in the NFL in 2023. It's a build from last year, Prescott said. We had great numbers last year, the chemistry from there has really grown. We really got to settle in and learn each other's game and learn what we want to do and get our communication better. CD is a hell of an athlete and he's a hungry competitor. That culmination of continuous reps has allowed for a consistent chemistry with Lamb and Prescott, as the two used a full offseason together to perfect their timing and connection. Nothing is necessarily different, Lamb said. There's just a lot of time that we worked on this offseason compared to any other offseason we've had. We had the full offseason together. A lot of bonding, a lot of time together, and it's showing. The trust in each other when I'm running my route, I'm seeing him and he's seeing me. You can't beat timing. The only thing you can do is try to knock it off. It's been the added aspects to Lamb's game as well in 2023 that have allowed him to succeed with Dak Prescott throwing him the ball, succeeding in getting out of breaks, releasing off the line faster and excelling both inside and outside. I'm comfortable anywhere on the field, Lamb said. Outside the numbers, inside the numbers, out of the backfield. Whatever the team needs, versatility is another one of my key components to myself. I take pride in it. Line me up anywhere and tell me what I got. 
As far as keeping his career best pace going, Lamb sees an opportunity to make his short spurt turn into a consistent run throughout the course of the season with Prescott throwing him the ball. Be consistent, he said. I can't preach that enough. Just continue on what we build off of. Cowboys urged to draft physical playmaker to replace safety J. Ron Curse. The Dallas Cowboys could be forced to replace a key defensive starter this offseason. As mentioned by Bleacher Report's NFL staff, the Cowboys could be looking for starting strong safety J. Ron Curse's replacement this offseason. The potential replacement mentioned is none other than University of Minnesota prospect Tyler Newbin. The 6'2", 210-pound senior is considered the highest-rated player at the position on BR's big board. Starting strong safety J. Ron Curse isn't playing well this season and is an impending free agent. So, the Cowboys will likely be looking for Curse's replacement this offseason, and Newbin is currently the highest-rated player at the position on B-R's big board. BR NFL draft scout Corey Giddings describes Newbin as a big, physical safety who works well closer to the line of scrimmage. Newbin is a big, physical safety who has shown the ability to play at multiple levels but does his best work closer to the line of scrimmage, B-R's NFL draft scout Corey Giddings said. He's a strong player who makes quick run reads, isn't afraid to throw his body around or deliver big hits, and does a good job taking on blocks and securing tackles. Mock drafts have Newbin going anywhere from the middle of the first round through the second round. CBS Sports' Chris Trapasso projects Newbin to be selected with the 18th overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. Meanwhile, NFL Draft Buzz projects Newbin could be selected in the second round. With the Cowboys currently holding a 5-3 record and most likely ending the season as a playoff team, they're projected to pick at number 21 by Trapasso. In NFL Draft Buzz's scouting report of Newbin, they marvel over his physicality can get up under a receiver's chin and has the speed to flip his hips and run downfield. Newbin has the quick and surprisingly powerful hands to jostle receivers early. But he's at his best peeking into the backfield. Straight line speed to take a pick to the house. Can punish receivers with closing speed and desire to hit at max impact. The 29-year-old Curse is completing the final year of a two-year, $10 million deal he signed prior to the start of the 2022 season. Although Kurs has served as a full-time starter since his arrival in Dallas in 2021, his 2023 season has been a below-average one. According to Pro Football Focus, Kurs has posted a 51.9 defensive grade and 51.9 grade in coverage. Both of those grades are career lows and are a stark decline from the previous season in which he posted a 70.2 defensive grade and 63.6 grade in coverage. Furthermore, he's allowed 17 receptions on 20 targets, 85% completion rate, this season. Bleacher Report's Alex Ballantyne actually wrote about how the Cowboys missed an opportunity to unload Curse at the trade deadline. The Cowboys were mostly in position to be buyers at the deadline, but it's worth taking a look at who they could have unloaded to get a draft pick, writes Ballantyne. Someone like J. Ron Curse would have been an ideal candidate. He mentions Curse's decline in playing time as a reason for why he's likely on the way out in free agency. Earlier in the season Curse was on the field for every defensive snap, writes Ballantyne. Since the bye week, he's seen a reduction in those snaps. Donovan Wilson and Malik Hooker are playing more than Curse, with Wanya Thomas waiting in the wings. After playing 100% of the defensive snaps in three consecutive games between weeks two and four, Kurz has appeared in less than 74% of the defensive snaps in the past two games. Considering Kurz appears to be on the way, the Cowboys could find a young, suitable replacement in Newbin. And you fan, what do you think of the Tyler Newbin situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.